to Spooky Saturday. A non-segment on the stream. It just happens to be Saturday, and I'm playing spooky games. It seems like all I play are spooky-ish games nowadays for streaming. But I'm not complaining, because I find them very fun and interesting to stream. Also, I'm moving forward closer to the computer. So, we're playing... Uh, do I have the audio muted? Yes, I do. We're playing Yume Nikki, which is... It's spooky-ish. It's not necessarily a horror game. It's just kind of vaguely spooky. It's more interesting, but I uh, I just downloaded some itch.io weird horror things to check out if we get bored of uh, walking around our dream world. So let's 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 get back to where we were. So I think what I'm gonna do because I. Uh, because I don't know really where I left off in terms of- I'm pretty sure I visited every door at least once. I am going to start over. I'm gonna go from- I'm gonna go counterclockwise. I'm gonna go counterclockwise. And I'm going to see if we've unlocked any new things. Let's see. Because now, look, look at our- Effects. Look how many effects we have. What even is Squish Squish? Becomes a squishy blob? I don't even remember getting Squish Squish. That's how many effects we have. Okay, we, we gotta like look around here. I'm at a weird, I'm at a weird juncture where my desk chair currently is way too far away from my computer. So I'm stretching. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I was trying to do a gamer move of, uh putting my keyboard somewhere else. Th this game, I don't think, has uh, controller support. I could definitely get it to work with a controller, but I choose not to. Ring, ring. Wait a minute, yeah, wait. Maybe the mystery of these ethereal beings is something, because we didn't, we didn't figure what that was. Wait, what if a squish, what if I become a squish squish? No. What if I become an Oni? No, I don't think that has any effect. I've already tried being a ghost around these guys, a faceless ghost. All I lose is my face. I don't really gain elements of ghost. At this point, uh, we are just kind of looking for anything. As the bell chimes. I'm kind of looking around the outskirts. Maybe something here. There's probably something around here somewhere. I think we, we've hit the stage of the game where we're going to be looking around for stuff. Look at these Mario 2 turnips. I think I said that last time I played this. We can enter that red zone from this map. We know that. And there appears to be a lot of stuff there. And there's stuff there that we can't do anything about right now. There was like that vending machine, I think, which we don't have any way of using. But at least I have a bike. A bike in a dream. This area goes on for a weirdly long amount of time. Because it kind of... A frog. Wait a minute. I will charm him with my... I am a frog. Oh, no, wait a minute. I probably gained the ability of frog from this frog. I'm assuming that's what happened. Yeah, I think that's- I think that is the case. I think I, uh, did that backwards there. I forgot that I gained that ability there. I assume that's what I did. Uh, otherwise, there's an unrelated frog wandering around here. Man, I forgot everything. Except here, this is where... This little librarian is. And also the portal into heck. So we can teleport into- Oh my god, I forgot how bright this room was. Oh, it's- uh, It's so eye-strainingly red. Ugh, I'm drinking seltzer right now, so I'm gonna be, like, burping up a storm. I also considered playing some Roblox spooky levels and stuff, too. Uh... As it's easier to just browse for those than it is to browse for itch.io games. Although, I can browse for itch. 
Actually, you know what? That's that's kind of a lie. I can browse for itch.io games and download them on the fly. I think I think there's an easier vetting process with Roblox at least because I feel like it's a little it's more likely to be stream safe. Whatever content I get, that's why I'm excited for Roblox. Oh no, Roblox. That's why I'm excited for little um little big planet slash uh, unstitched or restitched to come out so I can play levels a la carte. We're, we're gonna be, again, every time I've streamed, the last couple streams, I've always brought them up, but, and during the podcast, too. I'm just very excited about that project. It feels like I'm always going between fan projects that I'm excited for. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. And I guess that's just kind of a general hype culture thing. I feel like I'm always getting hype for something, and then waiting for that thing to come out. I think that's a really big thing with MMOs, too, in the MMO community. I think, oh god. I think everyone is, ew, I don't know what that was. Everyone is waiting for the next best thing, constantly. And then when the, when the thing they eventually were waiting for comes out, like this happened to me with Black Desert. Um, when it does eventually come out, no one cares and they're thinking about the next best thing that they can't play. I just think it's kind of like uh, if you can't ha if you can't have something, it's like all you ever want. But um, yeah, I try not to get too crazy into following games because you're only gonna set yourself up for disappointment for the most part. But also, even if you're not disappointed, it, it is also like there's a lot of stuff to play right now. You know, you can wait it out, and uh, eventually you'll be able to play those other things. Yeah, I, I am excited though. You know, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna go into any of these warps unless I'm like really far out here. Um, but yeah, no, I am excited about a potential game like that. It's been a while since we've had something like that. I, I think Dreams. I think I would honestly have played a lot of Dreams too. I, I don't. I don't have a PS5. Um, I think I would stream dreams a lot and play dreams a lot, but alas, it's not on PC. And I get, I kind of get it, but it seems like we're getting close to a point where we're putting everything on PC, which is nice. Um, I don't know if I've looped or not. I feel like I have to have looped by now. No, no, I haven't. There's, or I might have looped, but I don't remember. Uh, I remember seeing this guy before. I don't think I have any ability to make him happy. Or maybe, wait, didn't we get, didn't we get something? I feel like we got something at some point in an area where these guys looked like this. You know what, it's better to try. I think it's better to try effects and have nothing happen than to miss something. No head, no bitches. Small. Small. You don't like one of me, but what about a dozen of me? Okay. Lamp? What about lamp? Bombs? Rope? You want it? Pony, my friend. I just realized I have like some sort of number. I don't know what that means. 35 out of 44 watts, and I have one health. I think I only might have health because it's an RPG Maker game. Or maybe it's showing me I only have one life. There's only one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard I cry. Okay, what is this? Can I go- I can go deeper into heck? No, this is just this area. Which, I've been here already. Wait a minute, I think I- I think last time we went this way, and then we went off and did some other thing. I think I want to go back into heck. Because I think I already did what I needed to do over here. But now I'm already- I'm already too far gone. If I- I don't know, I think if I go- You know what, if I like go to the next screen, I think this was like the point of no return. Oh no, there's something new! Fatten, nice. Fatten down the hatches. We got fatten. Where's fat on? 
Yes! Goo, goo, goo. Oh, big. Heavy machine gun. Rocket launcher. Shows to metal slug, and you eat too. If you eat too much food in metal slug, you get the oh big power up. Or you become fat in metal slug, but then you gain like the abilities of fatness. Like your weapons get fat too, and your grenades get fat, so they do more damage and they blow up. I was a big metal slug fan for a long time, and I still am. I just haven't played those games as much. I, I think it's because I had the anthology collection on PSP and I just played them so often that uh, I kind of burned out. That uh, I kind of. Also, I was just checking the audio kind of. I don't, I don't know. Someone's going to have to come in here and check the audio for me because I did an audio test and it sounded fine. But now there's more. There's a lot more music going on than in the audio test. Bing. So, it looks like there was some stuff here that I had not discovered yet. And I do think there's more stuff in the red heck zone. Aha! Oh wait, no, this is what I did before to get here. Okay, th I've already been here. But... Maybe there's some different stuff I haven't seen here. Hmm, let's take a look around. Let's examine a little bit more. Oh, look at this. I'm sad that that's not a secret because I felt I felt really good about myself getting over here. I thought I, if I could touch the wall, then I could go somewhere cool. But I was wrong. I was a fool. I was a fool to think. I was a fool to dream. I was a fool. I was a fool to think that I could go somewhere cool. And... Let's see. I think I'm just gonna go back into the area that I was in. I may have to pinch myself because I don't think there's anything relevant. Ooh, wait. Aha! I did, I missed this. Wait a minute. Effect, lamp. Nope, that's not helpful. All right, let's do the effect roulette. What if I'm small? What if there's many of me who are small? Nope. I don't know why that would... I don't know why that would actually help me in any way, but, you know, you never know. What if I am the Oni? Come on, turn around. What if I'm large? Oh, big. Nope. See, I don't know if this is even like a, uh... <laughs> I don't know if this is even worth doing for every weird thing I encounter. What is worth doing, however, is looking up and down to see if I can find a secret. Interesting. So that one door is open, but I can't seem to do anything in there right now. Huh. <laughs> These villagers speak in winning chimes. Actually, there's a couple things that I didn't see in here. Okay, there's another house with someone else chilling in it. Or is that- wait, that might be the same house I just looped. I think that's- I think that is the same house that I just looped. And that's the same exit. Yeah, that- that makes more sense. The looping nature of this game is really throwing me off, not gonna lie. Because sometimes you loop and sometimes you don't. Like, this isn't a loop, but it looks so similar. Oh, hi, house. Look at this eye house and this other eye house. Bing, bing. What's over here? Oh, it's this area. Okay, so it just warped me to this other zone. Which I believe we already had access to here. Oh! Blonde. What? Oh, he's, he is. Is he because he's blonde? I get the blonde aspect. Now I have a nice haircut. But I don't get. <laughs> the thing I don't get is what makes him. Maybe he ate someone who was blonde, but I think it's. I guess he does have luscious locks, this weird fella. This definitely feels way louder than it was before. Hmm. 
Look at these ancient runes and tomes. Look at this. Are you going to tell me this block isn't special in some way? I'm discerning runes and discerning tones, and that's not special? Well, here's the entrance to the uh, this area. We somehow were able to get back here from here. You know what? Instead of exploring the red area, which we'll, we'll do eventually, everywhere leads back there anyway. Let's take some time and explore some other areas that we've already been. The cube zone. See, I don't exactly remember what areas really had a lot going on. Like, this area I don't think had a lot going on in it. Who are you? Oh, it's the, in, like, invisible snowman that teleports you. So, I wonder if that teleports you to random areas. Okay, there's a bathroom over here. Did we figure this out? If someone's in here, can we, like, sneak under the door? Why did that work? Um... What? I think... I don't think it's because I'm... I'm small. Hmm. I don't think what my effect actually mattered here. Yeah, I just... Pressed the door enough times that I was able to get in there. It just so happened that that happened. Okay. Bike. Oh, oh I, I couldn't get in there on my bike, which now raises the question of what other things couldn't I interact with because I was on the bike. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. We'll have, to, we'll have to try that out now. Teleport me. Just weird teleports. Anything inside this prism? No. This is a weird game. Hmm. Let's see what other... What other secrets lie in the cube domain. The McDonald's Golden Arches. Did I interact with this already? Oh, that's, there's like a door on top of there. I don't know why I'm getting Kingdom Hearts vibes from this like upward door. I don't think I can get up there without teleporting. Hmm. Okay, that looks like there could be a secret of this zone yet. Hmm. Look at this. The ascending... The, uh, the wireless internet pillars. Interesting. This feels important, in a way. I guess let's just head down here. Hmm. This area, again, this feels kind of massive. What the hell's... Okay, here's the teleport guy again. Let's t I guess let's just teleport once more. I don't know if we just have to get lucky or if these teleport people are in different areas and they teleport you to different areas every time or if it's like a random thing they'll teleport you to. Let's see. Actually, this, this is the same guy. Okay, so it looks like that they teleport you to random areas. And maybe if I get lucky, I'll get teleported to that area that has the door, maybe? That seems like it's a good-ish plan. That feels like that could work, maybe. I don't know. I, I've only seen a couple of... I've only seen those locations that I've been teleported to, so... Maybe not. Let's keep pedaling to the meddling. Hmm. Yeah, there's that door again. This could be a case for just going right and maybe something happens. If I go to the right long enough, maybe something of interest will happen. Hey, there's always the red zone to explore, too. Hmm. I wonder 
to do. Okay. Have I seen this formation? It looks like it, yeah. That, that is the thing. I, I have such poor sense of direction that I don't even know if I've seen stuff that I've seen. Let's, let's wake up and head back. We'll make a save because we got a couple of effects just for safety. Save. This game, I, th I thought this game like deleted my progress when I uh, looked at it again. Because I didn't realize Dream Journal meant uh, load save. But I guess it makes sense. I wonder if there's anything I can do. Can I use my effects here? So I can. I wonder if there's a way to like escape this outer area and find some other weird nonsense. Or I didn't actually try to look around here too. I wonder if there's anything in here. That would be interesting. Maybe not. Is there a center? It feels like there should be a door here in the middle. This feels like a prime spot for a door. Oh, th was this the dark? Was this area the dark area that we need a lamp for? Maybe not. I don't think I need a lamp here. How many, uh, how many do I have? How many effects do I have out of, I guess it tells you on the other screen. I have 10 effects out of like 35 or something. It, it said it on the save screen. I wasn't paying attention. Umbrella. Check that out. I just found another effect. Oh, umbrella causes it to rain. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, and the rain doesn't stop when you put your umbrella away. Or at least on this map, it causes it to rain? Hmm. I wonder what the umbrella... Was there something on fire at one point? That we saw? That maybe we can make that go off of on fire? I don't even know if these effects actually work in that like way. I think I used one somewhere. I, I mean, I used the lamp. I used the lamp at one point. Look at this area. This is new. Also, I just realized that I probably could have interacted. Huh. There was another one of these things uh, in that red area that I was like, maybe I could interact with it. Okay, let's check over here. There's a lot- there seems to be a lot of branching opportunities for us that have just opened up now. In terms of exploration. We went to the right and then up, so we could just go far right or far left, too. Oh wow, there's a lot of exploration vectors opening up in our way right now. There's something over here. Dead tree? Are you an effect, dead tree? Uh, huh. What is this? There's a lamp and there's like a dead tree. I don't have like a, I don't have like a watering can or anything. I have an umbrella. Fatten. Squish, squish. I can't imagine what any of these effects would do for this, so... Let's, let's go away. Hey, guys. I know we don't use this group chat anymore, but does anyone want to come cycle through the mind forest for me? Hey, guys. Oh, God. I've had people... I've had group chats like that where people... Also, hello, harms. I've had group chats like that where people just respond. Or just send a selfie to a group chat that hasn't been used in, like, ten years. And then I'll send something back, like, what's up? And then just no response. I'm like, okay. I've had that happen a lot. Wait, I'm gonna go to the right. Chat, what do we- what do you say? Do we go all the way to the right or all the way to the left? I'm already all- going all the way to the right as we speak, so you can't really vote. But, for future, get- get- if, if there's a split in the path, let me know. 
Okay, so that's where we came from. That's where we went to. That's a meat monster. There's a jiggling garlic man. I, I don't... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you wiggling? I can wiggle. I, maybe I, I'm trying to communicate through the abilities that I have. Um, I guess not. Okay, let's continue on. Yeah, like once a year, Happy New Year, we should catch up. Oh yeah. I mean, that's just like classic though. Like when you, when you meet people, when you see people, you know, everyone's gone through this. When you see people from like the past, you're like, we should hang out and you just never do. I mean, that that is the thing though. It's like, I want, when I do say that to people, I do genuinely mean it. I'm like, oh, we should hang out. But like half the time, it's just not going to work out. I might get some... I made a vat of pudding the other day because I discovered that pudding... Okay, I'm going to get some off-camera pudding real quick. Um, I discovered that you can get, for one dollar, you can get, like, pudding mix. And then just mix it with milk and you can get a massive bowl of pudding. For, like, nothing. It costs nothing. And, uh, it's the freaking new hotness. Here's a bowl of pudding I have. Look at this big, giant bowl of pudding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. I don't know why this game makes me hungry every time I play it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you just realize... Um... You aren't the same people you used to be who had a bunch of stuff to talk about, shared interests, times change, yeah. Yeah. I went to, like, a reunion recently, and it was kind of like that. Although, I mean, everyone was like, yeah, cool. It's the garlic meat man. He drains your mag- uh, drains- his magic drains your stomach. Yeah. I don't know, I- I met- a, I, like, rekindled with a bunch of people, and it was fun and cool. I think it's more of just, like, a, everyone's got their own stuff going on, too. No one really has time to, like... You, if you want to, like, meet up with people, you really got a plan. And, like, if you're just acquaintances, that's kind of a lot to ask. Alright, I'm traveling down the meat highway, and nothing seems to be changing. Is this just an infinity highway full of sadness and meat? By the way, Harms, I, I have some, some itch.io games prepped post. Uh, if we ever get a little bit tired of uh, running around our dream world, I uh, I have a game. I think it's called something. It's, a, it's, a, it's some horror game about the toilet, like 90% of itch.io games. All right, unwanted update. Just wrapped another session of D&D campaign with Spent and Ruth. They're investigating sus people in the city leading up to some big events. Some sussy but wait a minute, this is a different area? Some sussy bakas are in the city. I feel like uh, in the, uh, by the way, okay, first of all, what are you? Wait a minute, b b before I comment on the d and I gotta, I gotta comment on the sus octopus and the, the negative zone. Um, <laughs> the sustopus, which leads to the negative zone. Um... But, yeah, I feel like the city setting in D&D, &D, like, you can just play in that setting for, like, a million years, because there's just always something going on. Also, wait, I gotta investigate. What is this? What is this Mr. Krabs walk cycle zone that I've entered? Hand. See, I'm gonna explore a little bit. A blood cult, a community of nobles that trade in magic items. And a man with a cursed axe who needs help clearing the curse. It's a cursed- it's the- it's an axe that can cut anything except wood. Okay. Here we go. Oh! Excuse me? This is those Spongebob frames that go way too detailed gross. Yeah, who- excuse me, Mr. Rattleface? 
Perhaps you will like my funny frog. No, not impressed. Perhaps you will like me if I get... Oh, frig. Is it growling or rattling its own hair? I think it's its little teeth. What if I was faceless? What if I had no face? Mm. What if I was red? Did that do something? Is something happening? Okay, something does- when I press one, lightning strikes here. Okay, good to know. Umbrella. Alright, so something happens, at least, with the Oni. What if there's a- what if there's an army of me, Pikmin style? In the face of unimaginable settings with unnatural creatures towering over you, sometimes all you need to be is froge. I agree. Lamp? I love lamp. Uh, what if I was blonde? Would you like me then? No? Okay, I tried. What about squish 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 squish? <laughs> what if you went into heaven, right? And the gates open and all you hear is... Lamp is a real one. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Oni. Because something actually happens here. I can't make lightning strike. Hmm. I wonder if that... So... Or maybe that's just a combination of these effects. It is doing that. They're... Like, you, there has to be something here, right? This feels too specific to not be... Wait a minute. I can look up at this thing. Maybe if I look up and I'm Oni and do something in lightning. Zoom zone? Maybe. What if you went to the store but the lady at the cast register said... Bub, 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 bub. I don't know, what would you do? I would have a swig of pudding. It's so good. So, I don't know how they invent- like, there's some new pudding tech. I don't know if you guys are aware. There is some new technology that they developed. I always thought pudding, you like, you cooked it, like on the stove, like you had to boil it or do something like that. But the pudding packets that I get, you just mix milk, cold milk in the powder and it just makes it, it just sets by itself. You have to do nothing else. It's like a t you just whisk it together. Hmm. I can't zoom. I can't zoom here. I can't walk up and down. I can just emit lightning and cry. I guess I should wake up. Science has invented faster pudding. Yeah, but the problem is it's so convenient that now you just, you make one box you have to make the whole box, and, like, you end up making, like, four servings of pudding for, like, one person. You, you make, like, four cups of, like, pudding. Which is just too much. I mean, it's not too much because you'll eat, I'll eat it, but it's, like, it's too much. You shouldn't be eating it, is the, is the, the problem. Bulk pudding trap. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's go down. I feel like I'm in Earth map. Oh! Traffic light. Uh. Oh. Okay, this. Wait a minute. I bet I. Maybe I can use this on those librarian people and jabate them and then, like, red light, green light them. I can squid game them. I watched Squid Game, by the way. I am now. I am now. Super, yeah, Squid Game. I am now super hip and current with 2020 kids from, from 2020. I, I finally watched the thing three years late. Or whatever. Um, I have red light, green light now. I don't know what that is going to be useful for. But perhaps it'll be useful for something. When we were younger, we used to play the Squid Game. What if, the, what if the real squid game was the friends we made along the way? 
I can now play the Roblox Squid Game game too. It'll have and I'll have context for what's going on. Or I can play that Squid Game. Uh, I can play that Squid Game like weird game on Steam. That's probably like a Bitcoin miner. Like I think it's called Crab Game. All right, I guess I gotta pinch myself. Time to pinch. Uh, boss. Nice of the princess to pinch us, eh, Luigi? I'm gonna save. I don't trust myself. I don't trust this game not to have one random thing that just, like, comes out of the blue and murders you. Oh, it's risky. It has proximity chat? I didn't even realize that. Oh, God. That's, like, fun, but also, like, yikes. Nice of the princess to go to sleep, eh, Luigi? I think I'm gonna give this game like an hour of my time for tonight, and then yo, my gamers, what's up, Cabbage? I think I'm gonna play. I, I've been streaming for 36 minutes on this game. I think I'll give this game like an hour, and then we'll switch over to uh, a game called Death Flush. A uh, will this trip to the bathroom be your last? Uh, then slide in the woods, and then uh, the classic no players online game, which a lot of people have seen. Um, and I have not seen it. I just know about it. And then maybe some some Roblox Squid Game or horror games, because there's some weird garbage on there. Did your YouTube Shorts also get flooded by Faith Unholy Trinity videos? Uh, I don't know. You ever play Squirrel Stapler? Are no, I don't think so. Do you staple squirrels? What? I am a lamp. Hear me roar. I am a lamp. Become my vor. I am a lamp. Hello, my friend. You staple squirrels to your dead wife. Oh, wait a minute. I've seen that game. No, I've seen that game. I can't remember. Like, I watched someone play that at some point. <laughs> you to your what? What did you do to my my drink? I, I. Random word generator ass game. No, I've seen that. I can't, I, I think I can burn that out of my mind but I, I have seen that uh if you're just tuning into the stream i have off camera i have a giant vat of chocolate pudding i made that i've been eating slowly throughout the stream it's so good i have not played iron lung yet it's on my wish list i think it was on sale during the spring sale and i didn't buy it because i forgot about it <laughs> but i wait is it still on sale no, even though it's six, it's only six bucks, but still. You know what? You know what? For the call, I'm gonna buy it anyway. Oh, the wow! There's an indie game. There's a uh, horror. It's part of a horror indie game bundle with a bunch of other horror indie games on it. I wonder if that's worth getting. It feels like that would be worth getting because that's the kind of stuff I end up streaming anyway. You know what? Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna buy it. I'm gonna uh, right now. I'm gonna wait until this bundle goes on sale, and then I'm gonna buy the bundle because it has that game in it and some other cool games that look in that genre. So I I will do that. I'm gonna probably forget though, but still, because it looks they had some cool games in it that like look like perfect games that I would stream. The light. The light. The light. So it's technically free. It's basically free. Oh yeah, because you can return it, I guess. The humble that's that's rude. The humble uh, the humble squirrel stapler but yeah, the humble squirrel stapler bundle. For other staple like games. I feel like you may Nikki, this game is required to be played in like one hour chunks. I don't think you can binge this game. If, I think you need to kind of like gotta pace yourself a little bit on on this. I'm just walking through the midnight zone. There's one dude here. There's one loser chilling in the midnight zone. I'm a lamp, and uh, I'm not having a good. I'm not having a good time. I'm a lamp, and I'm having a bad time. What's up, chief? 
including Squirrel Stapler, Squirrel Stapler 2, Electric Staple Roo, and Squirrel Stapler 3, Return of the Tape. 11 squirrel-based, staple-based games brought to you by, in partnership with Staples, the company. We, we are proud to present Staple-like. Stape, including Stapleborn and Staple Row. Staples die twice. The very first squirrel game. Oh yeah, the first- the weird thing is the first squirrel, like, doesn't even feature the staple. It wasn't until the second game that staples were even added to the, the franchise. It's kind of like a Metroidvania situation. Oh my god, did I ever go here? Oh yeah, I did, I think I did. Kind of like how uh, the first Castlevanias were more linear than Symphony of the Night. Once they introduced that stapler, you know, it really opened up the game world. And once they added the wife mechanic, I mean, that's that's kind of what we all know today. The LSD bike zone. Hand. These are all little figures of people. So people make jello shots, right? Now I'm just thinking, you could probably make pudding shots. And you could use, like, uh, like, uh, whatever, like the, uh, what's that, like, cream liquor? Um... What's it called? Like, you, it's like a, use it for like, what is, oh my god, what is it called? Like a, ba like a Bailey's? But what is it called? I don't remember. Anyway, I've used both bathrooms now, so that's an achievement. Irish cream, yeah, stuff like that. You could use, it's, it has a name, I forget. And Bailey's is a type of, it, it's like a brand. Cream liqueur. Eyeball. Hand. You're very handsome. The eye zone. Oh wait, this is like a- this is actually something. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna pinch myself, I'm gonna save, and I think I'm gonna switch up the game. You know what, I'm- I'm just gonna save and we're gonna switch it up. I wanna play some- I wanna play some variety tonight. I'm feeling- I'm feeling like playing- a stupid amount of games that is going to end up making my VODs really annoying to make. Cool. Alright, that was Yume Nikki for now.